live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering AWS reInvent 2018. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services, Intel, and their ecosystem partners. Okay, welcome back everyone. This is theCUBE's live coverage here in Las Vegas for Amazon Web Services reInvent. I'm John Furrier, Lauren Cooney, your host here at theCUBE. We've got two sets. We have a great guest, CUBE alumni, Rowan Schwartz, who's the Senior Vice President and General Manager of Cloud, Big Data, and Data Integration for Informatica. As you know, we cover their events. Great to see you. Great to see you as well. So, one thing that jumps out at me here at this show, and I want to get your reaction right out of the gate, is uh, Amazon's scale is unprecedented. And they're using that scale to create differentiation and competitive advantage. This is something that's familiar to you guys. You guys have scale with your data. Big data at scale now is something that's become, I won't say in vogue, it's popular because people are now obviously seeing, I need to be, do better with my data, I need a data platform, no data platform, I'm not successful. Your thoughts? Um, I think you're absolutely right, and scale is the key word for customer to be successful, and I, I truly believe that the cloud is offering this ability of infinite scale, and who better than Amazon to actually demonstrate that. We definitely have a lot of customers that are demonstrating scale in a repeatable mode. One of my favorite statistics about Informatica Cloud is the fact that the amount of data that we process actually doubles every six months. And every time when I look into the number, the number now is five trillion records in a month. Every time I look at the number, In your like, cloud. Just going through our cloud, right? And I'm, I'm looking at this number and I'm saying like, can we really double it once again? Um, so far in the last five years, that had actually been a statistic. So I agree with you, scale is part of the, of the game. Talk about what you guys are doing here at reInvent this year. Obviously a partnership has been there for a while. What's you guys announcing? What's the story? What's the conversation this week for Informatica? Informatica is announcing here a solution that we built together with uh, AWS and Tableau, really introducing next generation analytics. If you want to modernize the way you look and work with data, you actually can get a best of breed integration, a data catalog, together with a modern data warehouse in the cloud from Amazon, and basically Tableau, Tableau Cloud, to reach out self-service. All of that could be now started in one button, everything is already integrated, working, optimized for customers, new and existing, to really get value from their data. And the future of your business is what? Fill in the blank. The future of Informatica is blank. Fill in the blank. Enterprise cloud data management, really supporting customers in a data-driven um, data world, helping customer navigate the, the huge transformation that is happening now with the market with data. Rowan, what do you think about Amazon moving up the stack? Obviously, there's a lot of services. We've seen Redshift, Kinesis, Aurora, all these are new capabilities. Not just EC2 anymore, although they're touting a lot of EC2. They have the big ground uh, breaking news around the satellites. It's called uh, ground, uh, something, the Earth's uh, satellite provisioning ground station. They're provisioning connectivity. So your data is going to get more full. They're going to create more edge data. Right, I, I think, uh, I mean, the, the world for IT is changing in an unbelievable way. And I, I do think that Amazon is changing it. Some of it is in the app market, but they're changing the way operation works. They're changing the way the back end is working. And you're right, I mean, anyway, from trucks that go with data to satellites, they are changing the way people work. They're, in, they're got connectivity to the edge, but they, they're also highlighting analytics, right? Machine learning, AI, this is something that you guys have been doing as well, it's going to put more emphasis on analytics and, and automation. How does that affect your, your uh, business? How do you talk to your customers saying, what does this mean for me, I'm an Informatica customer? For Informatica, the more data the customer has, the more data the end users are enabled to use, the more business it is for us. Got it. it actually means that data is more important. Data is more important means that data management is more important. And this is really where we help customer get value. So, so I have a question, and this is a, kind of a clarification. Um, so are you talking about when your customers consume, you know, or can understand their data? So is it information or is it data? Um, you're touching a really important point, which is the difference between raw data and basically yes. valuable data, information, and conclusion. Informatica is helping the customer from 
identifying the data, discovering the right data, all the way into improving the data with data quality, with normalization, et cetera, all the way to the place that the data is ready to be, uh, to be investigated, to become information. And uh, basically this is, this is our role, and it actually complements really, really nicely the, the, the real uh, uh, changes that are happening with the storage, with analytics, analytics and scale, and definitely with the rise of AI. People are not just looking backwards into what did data mean in the past, they're actually trying to leverage data in order to guess and understand what will happen going forward. So, so can you give me a use case, like a customer use case that you have, you know, understanding that you may or may not be able to talk about a specific customer, but just in general? Um, let me give you a, a few examples. Okay. Um, um, one of my favorite examples is a lot of the medicines have been discovered by a practitioner, usually a doctor, identifying something that happened to two of his patients. But the human memory and a single, and a single practitioner, like a doctor, the, he can remember what happened a few months back, a few years back, for only his patients. Informatica, actually together with AWS, is supporting MD Anderson in a massive implementation of a data lake that collects what happened to millions of patients from hundreds and thousands of hospitals so that you can actually identify re repeatable patterns that can lead to new medicine and new investigation. Well, it's also faster innovation because it's when you're running through that data to get the results from the clinical studies and things like that. That is tremendous. That would you know, really increase the speed there. You're absolutely right. The next part of that is actually how do you make innovation faster? Mm -hmm. And this is instead of human beings connecting the dots, machine learning, AI, and other advanced methodologies that help you identify uh, basically these patterns, these unique situations that actually can drive somebody to, invi to invent a new medicine, it can, vi it can drive somebody else to sell more effectively, a third party to do maintenance better, and so on. So have you thought about uh, pushing the business a little bit further and, and you know, innovating with the customer, like co-creation and things along those lines? Innovate with the customer, sorry, can you repeat? Uh, innovation with the customer once they are, you know, kind of turning the data into information. Are you looking at co-creating with, the, with your customers? Is that something that you're into? So Informatica is actually making sure that the data that is driving the innovation is the, is, is the right data in the right, in the right shape, in the right quality, and is available for the innovation. The innovation that is driven from the data is where tools like AWS AI and machine learning, the data warehousing and others are actually being leveraged. Okay. Talk about the update on Amazon relationship. You guys have had a partnership with them. Is there any updates? What's the current status? Um, definitely. So Informatica uh, basically empowers all of its customers to run any of their Informatica um, implementation on AWS uh, without any additional cost and so on. What we've done in the last few years is more than that, we actually help them optimize how they are running existing workloads, leveraging the power of cloud, auto-scaling, aut automatic performance adjustment, scale up and scale down in a very effective way. And what we're doing right now together with AWS is actually empowering customer to drive migration of data to the cloud, helping customer identify how, uh, security and vulnerabilities on the data layer, all of that in an automated, in an automated way. Where I want to end it up is that today, if you're leveraging any of the Amazon data services, any of the storage, et cetera, Informatica is offering an optimized way to bring data from on-premise, from other clouds to AWS. The data catalog is a dream for AI and machine learning, really, if you think about it. If the brains are going to be in the cloud, data catalog is kind of like the connective tissue. I, I, I totally agree. I mean, it's actually interesting that the classical bottleneck, which was compute, is actually disappeared. <laughs> you have an infinite amount of power to compute. Even the, uh, the ability to have access to advanced algorithms and so on has been resolved. They are all available as a service to be used. However, these sophisticated, really bright uh, um, AI users, they're, you're right, their bottleneck is, can I find the data that is needed for me for my algorithm? Yeah. Can I make sure this data is the right data? 
the data catalog, our Informatica Enterprise Data Catalog, the catalog that don't just go to one place, but to the whole enterprise, is key to reach good AI. The FBI just talked today in big speech this morning at Teresa Carlson's event. They can't put the pieces together on these investigations fast enough for the bad guys because of the database problem. They need to have the catalogs, they need these data lakes, they need the AI, they need the compute. You guys got it all. Rowan, thanks for joining us. Thanks for sharing your insights Thank again you. on the hey, Cube. My pleasure, really exciting show, a lot, a lot of exciting news. Great to see you. Thank you. All the stuff we talked about three years ago is happening now. Informatica, check it out. Of course, the Cube covers Informatica's events. I do a lot of hosting there. I'm here with Lauren Cooney here at Amazon reInvent. Wall-to-wall -wall coverage, three days of programming. Stay with us for more after this short break.